Hello, boys and girls. Uh, it's Friday the 12th of February. Um, I think this is the last day of the half term. Uh, I think it is. Anyway, um, here are the answers for the morning maths questions for today. Question number one, um, 629, take away 456. So, so we'll take away uh, 400 first, so that leaves us with 429. Then we'll take away 50, so that's going to leave us with 379. And then we'll take away 6, which will leave us with 373. And I've just realised that these numbers are exactly the same as from yesterday. Um, which is why they're so easy um, and uh, so if you've done them and you've got the same answers as yesterday well done if you didn't do them yesterday then well you, you do them today and um, anyway that's 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 fine it's it's all good practice <laughs> sorry about that 734 take away 400 is going to be 7 take away 4 is 3 so the it's going to be 334 and then we'll take away the tens, which is 50. So that's going to be 280, 284. And then we'll take, whoops, and then we'll take away six. So that's going to be 278. So 278. So 734 take away 456 is 278. Okay. Um, Next, we multiply by 12. I'm sure these aren't the same numbers as yesterday. Hopefully they're not. Anyway, so remember, you multiply by 10 first, so that's 130. Uh, 13 times 2 is 26. So put a 2 there and a 6 there. So 130 plus 26 is 156. 1, 5, 6. Okay, now we will multiply by 15. So 150. Two lots of 15 is 30, so therefore the answer is 180, 1, 8, 0. Okay, next we've got 19, so 12 times 19, so we've got 190, 1, 9, 0. And then 2 lots of 19 is 38, 3, 8, so 190, 38 is 228, is that? 228, I think it is. Let's put, put it down, 228. Okay, there we go. So we get rid of that. And then 16, 12 times 16, 192. We have had 16 before, I'm sure. Um, so uh, 10 lots of 16 is 160. And two lots of 16 is 32. So that's 100, 192. And then 12 lots of 18. Um, well, that's going to be 144 plus 72, which is about 216, I think. Anyway, uh, 12 lots of 18. So 180. Two lots of 18 is 36. 180 plus 36 is 216. Yes. Clever boy. Divide by 100. Right. Two pounds and four pence. If you put 204 pence, that's fine. That's okay. That's correct. Uh, divide by 100. Two pounds and six pence if you put 206 pence that is correct and two pounds and seven pence if you put 207 pence that is correct subtract 199 centimeters from two meters and two centimeters um do you know what i'm not going to because it's far too easy the answer is three centimeters okay 202, 199, 199, 200, 201, 202, 3 centimetres. This one, all oh, right, I will do this one because this one's a bit more tricky. Seven and a half cent 
kilograms, take away four kilograms, 449 grams. Ooh, that's nasty, Mr. Smales. Ooh, dear me. Right, here we go. We need some space. Seven and a half kilograms, 7,000. Remember, gram, uh, kilograms in grams is thousands now. Half a kilogram, 500. 500, da, 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 500. There we go. Four th sorry, four kilograms, 449 grams. Well, that's four kilograms and then 449 grams, 449, and that's grams. And so is this one up here. And so we need to do this and we need to do this. This should be with a ruler, straight line. And we need to click on this to get that out of the way. Right, we are, <clears throat> what we're doing, we're subtracting now, aren't we? Yes, so, subtract. Okay, zero, take away nine, you can't do that. Can we exchange here? No, can we exchange here? Yes. So the five becomes a four. This becomes a 10. That doesn't help us here though yet, does it? Not yet. So, zero, uh, sorry, um, cancel the 10 uh, and make that a nine. And that nine says that you can put a 10 there. Okay, now it should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 10 take away nine is one. Nine take away five is, nine take away four is five. Four take away four is zero. And seven take away four is three. So 3,051 grams or three kilograms and 51 grams. Uh, does that look right? So that's about four and a half. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, 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 fine. Okay, the final question then, the final countdown. Calculate the perimeter. Let's move that over there. So move this down here. Here we go. Uh, ah, kilometers. Well, 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 who'd have thought? Now, because everything's in kilometers, we can keep it in kilometers. So let's put a um, red. So this is seven. This is four. So this must be, come on, you should know by now, three kilometers. And then blue, this is nine along here. And this is six. So how much do we have to add to six to get to nine? Something, add six equals nine. This should be three. Okay, this shouldn't take too long. Let's use a fancy creative pen. What should we use, stars or should we use happy faces? Happy smiley faces. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go up here. That's seven, <laughs> seven kilometers. 7 and 6 is 13, and 4 is 17, and 3 is 20. How does that look to you? Uh, 23, and then another 9. 23, and 9 is 32. So 32. Okay, so that's 32 kilometers. And now let's choose the rainbows. What color is that? No, rainbow. This is a rainbow one. Okay, we'll choose that one. And we'll go in a different direction. So we will start here. So 7 and 9 is 16, and 3 is 19, and 3 is 22, and 4 is uh, 22, 26, and 6 is 32. So 32. So remember the rule is if you've got two numbers and they're the same, then you can say, yep, that must be the right answer. If it's two numbers and they're different, then obviously you've got the wrong answer. One of them's got to be wrong, so you've got to sort it out. Okay, there we go. Have a nice uh, rest of Friday and um, have a nice half-term holiday as well. Bye-bye. Take care.